What's up everybody? It's Willie Will here. Hope everybody's feeling irate tonight. I'm the Congo player in uh, King Soul and the Vibes. Yo, what up? I'm King Soul. I'm the uh, frontman and uh, singer and uh, at the current time bass player of the band. Just uh, doing my thing, you know, spreading them the word through music. Yo, what up? I'm Chris and I play guitar for uh, King Soul and the Vibes. I come from Guadalajara, Jalisco, and I've been doing music for about 13 years now, um, writing my own songs for about 10 or 11 of those years. Um, I bring a lot of the, um, you know, Latin um, elements to the band, not only with the singing in Spanish, but also the uh, rhythms that we play in. I, m I met this dude answering an ad on Craigslist about a reggae band uh, with Latin influences. Definitely intrigued me because I've been playing reggae forever. I've been in a couple of hip hop slash reggae bands. So I answered the ad and it was King. So we tried to get this jam together which took about like three weeks actually. But then um, when, when I uh, arrived at the studio, I met King and Willie and I definitely realized that it's definitely a unique musical experience that I wanted to be a part of. I was in, a, I was in another band at, at, at the time, and um, uh, King was in an, he was also in another band, and we were uh, trying to get our, our, our work recorded through, through one of our friends, through a mutual friend, and um, we hooked up from there, and then um, he, they asked me, could I, could I do the percussion work on their CD, and w which I, uh, I gladly did. And after that, for some reason, the band I was in broke up, and then his band broke up, and we just, you know, decided, hey, let's, you know, let's try to hook up together and try to make a, make something of our own. My influences come from where I, what I started listening to when I grew up, which was a lot of Mexican music, a lot of uh, uh, cumbias, and uh, a lot of uh, yeah, actually Cuban and Colombian music, guajiras, cumbias, salsas, and mambo. And uh, when I was older, I actually got into reggae and ska when I was like about 13 or 14 started, you know, hearing a lot of Wailers and Peter Tosh and stuff like that. So that kind of it, it influenced me to kind of bring and mesh all that together. Not to mention, I had already kind of grown up with influences like the Beatles from my grandfather, Elvis, um, Johnny Cash, you know, a lot of those type of songs, Creedence Clearwater Revival. And um, it's really interesting to see how. I grew up with so many influences and this is the final product that came up that I'm trying to channel and take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that um, from all the genres of music that I listen to. I started out, my first love was jazz. My, my mom and dad loved jazz and uh, I, st I, I started playing maybe like the end of junior high school. Jazz, reggae, uh, rock and roll, R&B, um, different genres of, of, of music. I suggested that uh, we make a record since been, that's what I've been doing for the last um, three, four years musically is just been making records. So I just wanted to uh, get all these songs down in a record. So we've been doing that and I've been producing a five song EP that's coming out pretty soon. We're gonna call it Far Away Land, and uh, it's uh, the the first EP with these uh, songs right here. It's actually the first King Soul and the Vibes EP. Um, we're gonna have uh, La Oportunidad, Another Love, um, just uh, mainly older material that I wrote when I was younger that I never put on record. Um, and it's been pretty fun. Um, you know, we've had um, Chris uh, producing. Uh, and um, kind of doing the engineer thing and also, you know, laying down his guitar tracks. Um, you know, Willie and I have been working on this project, on this specific uh, selection of songs for, you know, years. So it's interesting to see uh, with the old stuff that Willie and I are bringing into it from so many years of playing the music. And then you add an element like Chris that's relatively new to the music and he's also, you know, behind the mixing board. So few months to make the record, it took four, four months 
to record everything because we were only working like uh, two to three hours every time we met because we only met after work. I want to be a professional musician and not have to work anymore. I have a day job that I work and I want to, you know, I want to get rid of that day job and do nothing but music. I want to tour and I want everybody to enjoy our music because music is universal and it's a spiritual and a very uh, happy message behind buying music and that's what I really want to do as I just want to go around the world making people happy with our music music is my life and I've been sharing that uh, experience with uh, you know the other members of the band which is pretty cool we just you know you can see we live for it and we have so much to say uh, you know uh, even though some of this not all the songs are necessarily cheerful and happy we do try to keep that positive vibe in, in, in the songs and we want to bring that on to you guys I'd like people to come together with this music I'd like people to um, uh, make friends with each other through the music and uh, people to uh, enjoy life through this music. We're very excited to share with you what we're going to be coming up with and not to mention future music that uh, we'll definitely be bringing to the table down the road.